It is with a great sense of delight for me to be here today on this auspicious occasion to perform the formal inauguration of the FCT Veterinary Practicing Premises Committee. The constitution of the committee, as you already know, is in compliance with the official gazette, which requires states of the federation to set up committees that will regulate the activities of the veterinary premises to not only promote public health safety, but align veterinary practices in Nigeria with global standards. Available records have shown that the FCT has a high population of animals, which by implication has resulted in the prolification of unregistered veterinary facilities offering a range of services that are sadly below required standards. Of great worry to the administration is the fact that there is little or no effort on the part of these illegal facilities to adhere to the prescribed safe biosecurity measures in veterinary clinics, laboratories, animal farms, markets, ETC. Also of concern, is the sale of failed drugs and quack services to residents. It is against this background that the FCT administration is taking this bold step of inaugurating this committee to ensure the adherence of all veterinary practicing premises in the FCT to the set professional tenets enshrined in the operational ethics of veterinary profession in Nigeria. As you are aware, the administration has been taking measures to standardize veterinary operations in the FCT. We have, for instance, given approval for the conduct of monthly clinical conference to give opportunity to veterinarians in the FCT, share ideas of their, these diseases and their management. The upgrade of facilities at the FCT veterinary clinic at Nyanya which was done in collaboration with the Alpha Zoetis Pharmaceutical Company, has helped to improve the capacities of our veterinary doctors' conduct laboratory services. In the same vein, we have taken measures to improve the state of facilities in our various abattoirs, as well as slaughter slabs. Similarly, we have strengthened our disease surveillance monitoring and control system to mitigate the outbreak and spread of diseases in the Federal Capital Territory. It is in furtherance of this objective that administration is today inaugurating a 14-member committee of veterinary professionals drawn from the six area councils as well as other relevant veterinary practice associations. The committee has the following terms of reference. To identify all practicing premises in the Federal Capital Territory, categorize the premises into different classes as provided, present the premises for accreditation and certification by the National Veterinary Council of Nigeria, MVCN, to also provide and regulate standards of practice in the Federal Capital Territory, to enforce compliance to government regulations as provided. Document and keep record of all veterinary practicing premises in the Federal Capital Territory. Maintain a secretariat at the Veterinary Services Department of the Agriculture and Rural Development Services. Stop the sales of veterinary drugs on the grounds in the markets, please. Members of this committee shall serve for a period of three years after which it will be reconstituted. Permit me to, at this juncture, acknowledge the contributions of our development partners, agencies of government and esteemed private sector stakeholders, and still solicit your continued support and cooperation to achieve this laudable goal of repositioning veterinary practices in the Federal Capital Territory. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to say it clearly, in response to my own brother, Honorable Aliu Abdullah Sabi, 
As he said before, the FCT has since, under the Agri Development and Agri and Rural Development Secretariat, written a letter to the Department of Urban and Regional Planning to avail us with the full details of agricultural lands in the Federal Capital Territory. And when this is availed us, we will have to produce, pro proceed to interface and to see where we will now streamline and outline premises for the veterinary services as requested by you. So it's been a motion, but there is one thing. Power is never served a la carte. You ask. Honorable Sabi is asking today, has brought forward the demand, and it has given the veterinary service a push. Now this has enabled us to jump the gun to say, okay, I am calling for immediate constitution of a committee headed by the Mandate Secretary of Agri and Rural Development Services to interface immediately with the urban and regional planning <laughs> with a stipulated period of just seven days to get back to us. <laughs> Veterinary services in Nigeria, as we all know, I listened to his cry, sadly, and I told him when he came back that perhaps there are so many big men in the veterinary services that they are too comfortable. <laughs> there is the issue of what we call branding and the rebranding and branding, both of personalities and of professions. Why then do you think that we call our names doctor the next time you say you are allergic? No, you are a professor the next time you say you are an associate, you are a fellow. You are rebranding yourself to upgrade. I think there is a need for a rebranding. No one else can do it for you. The doctors will get a building, a befitting building, a gigantic building and call it a hospital. What stops the veterinarians? Someone will say it's patronized by the poor. Mm -mm, I don't want to take that. The most sought after also are the animals in this country, both for consumption and for security. And as pets, they are mostly patronized also by the big people who even want befitting places to take their you know, pets to. Are we together? If we cannot afford a structure per person. I am speaking now as a co-opted member. <laughs> As veterinarians, we can put ourselves together, four or five of us to get a structure, a beautiful one. Give it a billboard and a neon light to save veterinary services of all stores. You mean everyone will go there because they will trust your drugs, the brand has a name, the label speaks volume because they know they are sure it is not fake. But we all sat down perhaps in our complacency and we allowed quack veterinarians, self-acclaimed veterinarians, some without certificates, to take over everywhere. Why won't you just leave this certificate and show them your certificate? <laughs> this is to my fellow veterinarians now as a co-opted person. I am a chartered town planner though. But I will tell you that the, that the land use will be well streamlined. Also telling you clearly, the FCT has done so well in fixing itself and repositioning in agri services, that we have secured ourselves comfortably in the special agro processing zone performance. We are rated one of the high ones in the country. We are rated highly even out of the country. And under the special agro processing zone also we come profiling of such categories. We might also find places if we key in. There could be months we are Offices will be secured, where shops could get secured. We are selling of these drugs, competent if you are registered under these zones, will also be done. Why won't you key in and register? You could be one of the profiled, you know, uh, uh, service providers to cater for the animals, especially that we are going into the livestock value chain. It's a very laudable project. It is big. No one will knock on your door to give you what is yours. 
If it's done before, it's not done anymore. Knock on every door if it means standing tall, stand to collect what is yours. Proudly we are the label. Do your badges. I'm a veterinarian. Proudly so. People will call you the name you will be called. If, but if you don't tell your story, some other people will tell your own story, but from their own side. So on this note, ladies and gentlemen, permit me to at this juncture call for the inauguration of the members of this great committee but I will just by mention Director mm, Yes, Joy So I will just by mention call them to stand up and move to the group and the list of members of the FCT Veterinary Practicing Premises Regulatory Committee goes number one Dr. Mrs. Regina A. Aduluga. Congratulations and you are chairing this committee. Dr. Damdam P. Kanak. You are a member of this committee. Dr. Elias Abubakar. Congratulations as a member of this committee. Dr. Fadik Pei E. Oladotu. Congratulations as a member of this committee. OC Vet Villa, Dr. Zira T. Falvi. You are welcome and a member of this committee. Bishop Dr. Lou Benishaya. Congratulations as you've made it to the committee. Dr. Ahmad Abdullahi. Congratulations once again. Round of applause. So don't just be doing like this. Round. Round. <laughs> because what she has done to us is rounded. And so we must give her a round of applause. So please, round of applause.